Bienvenidos, Nard. My name is Gerardo Jerry Asensio, and I am your host to the ESN Network. And with me once again is my co-host, the beautiful and very talented Carmen Palumbo. Well, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and hola, Nard family. It's a privilege to be here once again as your co-host to the ESN Network, the official talk show of the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals, where culture and business opportunity intersect. And Jerry, it's always great to see you. Igual. In fact, before we get started, I've got a clip I stumbled on that I just want everyone to see. Do you mind? Adelante. <laughs> Buenos dias, Realtor America! Thank you so much, President Mo Vici. It's a privilege and an honor to represent the Hispanic community and the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. You know, in recent years, we've heard that the American dream of home ownership is dead that the foreclosure crisis showed us that not all people are capable of home ownership. But those of us here today, we know better. How amazing is that? At the Washington Monument, and was there like 10,000 people there? I mean, you're amazing. Tell our audience a little bit about that. There were about 14,000 people there. It was an event that was organized by the National Association of Realtors, NAR, and it was all about the importance of home ownership. Because as you know, Carmen, with everything that's happening around the country, the economy, foreclosures, people are actually starting to question the concept of home ownership. And we can't let that happen. See, despite the difficulties over the last few years, home ownership remains a central part of the American dream. And we can't lose focus of that. And we can't also forget that this is the important work that all of our members do all over America every single day. So it was an honor to represent NARP at that event. <laughs> and NARP is blessed to have you as well. So what do we have this week? Gracias, Carmen. We have a great show for our audience today. This week, our Morning Jolt will include a discussion about the recent Supreme Court ruling on that very controversial Arizona immigration law. Actually, Gail Buck and Gary Acosta will be discussing that in the boardroom. Well, that should be interesting. And there is no short of strong opinions on that. Definitely not, <laughs> Carmen. But before we get into that, let's see what's happening around the country. Vamos! This is Que Pasa NARP, where we speak to our family across the nation. There are a lot of NARP events scheduled around the country, including the Montebello Business Rally, coming up on August 23rd in Long Beach, California. Good luck, buena suerte de Solina and JJ. I know it's going to be a great event. And for our viewers, for more information about that event and others across the country, just visit our website, narp.org, under the Events tab. And I understand congratulations are in order for Carmen Mercado. Oh, see. Now, I believe she is the former president of NARA? That's right. Carmen recently took on a role as a national recruiting director for the Century 21 company. It's a great opportunity for Carmen and one that's very well deserved. So felicidades, congratulations to you, Carmen. We love you. NARA, in the boardroom, I want to welcome our co-founder, Gary Acosta, as well as Gail Buck, visiting us from Arizona. Let's talk immigration. All right, Jerry. Three words. Immigration. Arizona law, Supreme Court. Supreme Court says Arizona cannot enforce federal law. However, they also say that Arizona can ask people in their state about their immigration status. Are you here legally? Do you, can you prove it? Now, NARP actually thought this was a pretty good ruling, better than we thought would come out of it. Um, we don't like the, the element with regards to show us your papers, but we think that'll eventually be struck down. Some of our members hated this said the most degrading portion of the law remained intact. And other members actually called in and said, why is NAREP weighing in on immigration at all? So I'm glad Gail's here. Gail's from Arizona. She's living this every day. So two questions for you, Gail. First of all, what did you think of the ruling? And second of all, should NARA be weighing in on issues like immigration? Well, thank you for having me here today because I'm very passionate about this exact subject. And the problem with the SB 1070 is that it is a tool that's being used for racial profiling. Mm -hmm. So how do you leave that show me your papers I mean, what, what, are they going to ask me for their paper, for my papers? And I'm Hispanic, I'm Latina, probably not. Jerry? Probably. They're probably <laughs> going to ask you for your papers. The color of my skin, <laughs> yes. So I feel that the way it stands right now, it's impossible to do that without racial profiling. We can't mm -hmm. have that. As far as NAREP getting involved, it's imperative that NAREP gets involved. Did you know that during the SB 1070 originally, 200,000 people left our state, mm -hmm. documented uh -huh. and undocumented? Wow. So you're going to tell me nice. that didn't further hurt and harm our housing um, environment, it certainly Absolutely. did. And yeah. so we have a responsibility to weigh in on the issues that do affect our housing. Absolutely. Straight talk on immigration. 
For more information on NARB's position on immigration, visit our website. We hope you've enjoyed your Lunes ESN. Viewers, make sure that you're subscribing to the link below so that you don't miss out on any ESN episode. And remember everyone, our national conference is an event you can't miss. And you know what's next? La Canción de la Semana. So let me prep you for future Latino beats where we have Maria teach us Latin dancing, salsa merengue, and bachata. Los dejamos con una oldie but goodie, el gran combo, sin salsa, no hay paraíso. Bailando salsa papa me hizo Cantando salsa me elevo al cielo Porque sin salsa no hay paraíso No hay paraíso, no Porque sin salsa no hay paraíso Si no hay clave, pues no hay guiso Porque sin salsa no hay paraíso Cuando en la radio yo escucho salsa Yo me emociono y hasta me erizo Y para encender la fiesta Yo espero el punto Now in... in American dream. No, 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 no. Thank you. I heard the ping. There's a ping somewhere. It's like a ping.